Today on the pod, Suze tries her small talk out on me, but it didn't end well. <laughs> well read. I've got a new recommendation station that I think will change how some people view my favourite sport, track and field. And I forgot how to be a mother. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. It was a great weekend. Awesome like weather-wise, weekend. Weather-wise, mm. on top of everything else. So good. So good, the weather. Mm. I was over at Stratty, to oh. South Stratty. I went over there. Went was it, was it the cold fishing. at all, was it? Or? It was cold, but we had a fire. It wasn't even in the city. It wasn't even that cold. Like second week of winter. It was like 23 degrees on Saturday. Like, yeah. And sunny. And it's looking very good for the rest of the week as well. As you posted a, a video over there, I don't know if it's still on your Instagram, where you're driving a four-wheel drive over some sand dunes. You can't see anything. You come down and you just see barren beach yeah. with oh, cool. waves. And it was blowing offshore too, which yeah, means the, the water nice. was just crystal clear mm. and just glassy. Yeah. There, was a, there was actually an unbelievable surf. I was wondering, wondering what the surf was like. We went, we went yesterday. We went out across the bar, and uh, there were plenty of people surfing over at Stratty, mm. and it was just, it was going off. It was, was good. Yeah, just big, big swell. Not huge swell, but just really clean, nicely formed. Yeah. I can't believe people. I mean, going to surfing now, paddle across that bar oh. on their surfboards. There must be 100 what? million sharks going through that area oh yeah. and right. boats. Yeah. Why would you do that? It's almost like, you know, you see the zebras get crossing yeah, in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Like they yeah. come across and the, the, yeah. the crocodiles can't get them all. It's like there's safety yeah. in numbers. I was taking the boat out <laughs> yesterday <laughs> and you got to you zigzag through because there's just people, people? people paddling. Yeah, and you can't see them. Really? Mm. The whole way across. Oh, that. I had a nice Saturday. I had a... I had a ladies' lunch. There was ten of us at someone's house. It went for nine hours. Jeez! And it wasn't it wasn't like crazy. Like I wasn't really drunk that much at the end. It was more just chatting. We played charades. Just at like, someone's house. At someone's house. It was like a kid's sleepover. We all wanted to sleep over. One of the um, there was a the lady's house. It was she has a daughter, and she read her a story. Good night. So we all piled in the bed with, <laughs> with <laughs> mum and the daughter reading Harry Potter to her. Because it was like so much fun. Imagine how weird that would be if that was a dude's night. I mean, you all got in the bed at the end with Gary and his son. Like, okay, red flags everywhere there. Imagine <laughs> imagine how the story would take a detour as well. <laughs> you did what? Anyway. Imagine if you told yeah, that oh, story. God. Can you imagine? How insane. Okay, what? dump, just dump it. I don't know what he's doing, but just dump that. We do not want that to go to air. <laughs> Susan just said it so <laughs> yeah. fun and good. Girls and boys are different, aren't they? Yeah, very much so. In that, oh. in that way. <laughs> in that way. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm an identical twin, obviously, and... Uh, you know, that piqued my interest when I saw this story over the weekend. This was a, a study that was conducted by identical twins who were separated at birth mm. at three weeks of age, mm. adopted out. <laughs> okay, and then, do that. and then, yeah, no, I don't know. Separate them. Well, I guess well, back yeah, in the they day, they probably them? thought, like, a lot of people, it might be easier just to adopt one kid. I guess. As opposed to the other. Actually true. You, you get a two-for-one deal. Mm. It's a lot of work, I'm told, <laughs> by my mother and my mother, <laughs> to have identical twins, Ooh, yeah. you know. And a- actually, and just having, like I had, like Levi and Sid were pretty close in age and it was like, that was, you know, that was pretty hardcore too. Mm. So having two at the same time. Exactly the same. That would be hard work. That but would be so hard. Anyway, they, they, these, these guys got adopted out and then they were reunited. I don't know how, but when they were... Um, you know, fully grown adults, like at about the age of 40. They probably never knew, did they, that they had an identical twin? No. Oh, no. right, what, okay. a, what a spin out that would be, by yes. the way. <laughs> well, for you it would have happened because kind of independently you two... I would have been ch- watching the weather one yeah, night. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> or, you know, pretty independently you two chiseled out similar careers. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Which doesn't really make any sense because you were just playing, you know, like you... You know, as if you and Luke went, yeah, yeah, let's both get into the media. Yeah, yeah. that is true. I presume, right? Because you were, weren't even thinking about that when no. you, the way you did it, and then he went off and did his radio thing. So you two would have seen each other in the media. We have very <laughs> similar interests, you know. Yeah, so. like, if I'm saying that's, you know, but it wasn't a pact you had. That yeah. was independent, as far as I know, you two both ending up in a similar line of work. Yeah, that's true. Well, what about these guys? Okay, so they were separated at birth, adopted by different families. They both got married and divorced to a woman named Linda. <laughs> yeah. 
That's funny. Then they both remarried a woman named Betty. No. Oh, my God. And when they were kids, they both had a pet dog named Toy. Stop it. What? It's true. So that can't don't... happen. Yeah. And on top of that, they both named their first sons James Allen. No. That's Alan! Ridiculous. Alan! <laughs> Where are they from? Uh, not that it matters. I don't know why I need to know that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I suppose I was trying to think if those names were common there. But Toy for Minnesota. a dog. Minnesota. Uh, from Minnesota, oh, right. I think. Toy so. for American. a dog. That's Both a funny had name. dogs called Toy. Toy. You had a toy called Doggy at one stage, didn't you? Remember too? <laughs> and unrelated. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible. Uh, they, they said that their um, their unbelievable resemblance, um, you know, became a, a case that the scientists were fascinated by because they were studying that nature first. Nurture, mm-hmm. and then, and evidently, the scientists discovered that genetics play a salient role in a person more prominent than what they initially thought. Okay, so you can't like, h- help how you are it's, because you you're born like that. It's like this is your DNA, <laughs> mm. right? You, like these these guys were born children who, for some reason, you know, grow up and see a dog and go, "Oh, I'd name that toy." Mm. I like James Allen. Like even to jag the the middle name the mm. same. Yeah. It'd be attracted to someone called Betty. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Twice. That's like funny. Two of them. <laughs> well, they probably watched the um what? read the Archie comics. Yes, that's probably That's what probably it was. why. And then Linda. That's a good point. Wasn't Linda? Linda Ronstadt? Linda cuz who else? <laughs> oh. Linda cuz <'cause laughs> the Crocodile Dundee fans. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Do you, you ever go somewhere and you there's people there and you don't really know them but you've got to converse with them? Mm-hmm. It's hard to know what to say. Well, you did it to me once when I first met you. Hello, Susan. How are you going? I think I need a life coach. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go. Started, that started a, <laughs> that started our friendship, our careers together. It did, didn't it? Yeah. But well, that's the that's the route I'm going to go down this one because I, f- I came across this article on Instagram: fifty ways to fuel a conversation, and I started reading it. And I was like. Boring, boring, boring. Say hello. Introduce yourself. Remember your sense of humour. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, remember I'm not going to... Remember your sense of humour. Okay, remember you're really funny, David. Remember. <laughs> like, if you've got to remember that, you're probably not funny. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, that's boring. You know, you have those boring small talk conversations like, oh, what do you do? And Yeah. Uh, you know. But so I, I tune f- out. I tune out. Yeah. I like I'm bored. How are you tied into this uh, event? That's yeah, yeah. Moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah. What school did you go to? <laughs> That's a weird one. That's embarrassing. <laughs> 35 years out of school. <laughs> um, no, so I found a better one. Icebreakers to start a conversation. Now, these are better ones to make. A bit like, well, that wasn't a question that I said to you. That was a statement. statement. You, made, you made a yeah. statement. But it's well, you're still, not meant to do it, that. It still aroused my interest. Yeah. You meant, to, you meant to ask a question. Like, I like this one. Like, oh, hi, Ash. How are you going? You good, thanks. Good. What you... school did you go to? <laughs> Too early, Ashley. Oh, no. Do a joke and then say no. Remember, Remember, you're funny. <laughs> a man walks into a bar. <laughs> no, not yet. If you could meet any historical figure, living or deceased, uh, that's too uh, uh, early. Uh, no, no, too early. Too no, early. no, but still, uh, it's an interesting yeah, question. Interesting. I'm just trying to work out what I'll be weird, that, weirded out if someone opened that, with that. You know what I mean? That sounds very try hard to that's me. That's too like, try hard. Like if you, okay, if, yeah, I agree. If you I agree. Open try that. <laughs> I agree. If okay. you open with that, okay. I'll be like, way out the door. Okay, hi. <laughs> hi, Ash. Mm, yes, hi. Again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 What superpower would you like to have? Uh. These all sound try hard now, mm. don't they? Well, mm. just early you know on, I, mean? I think that what they're suggesting is you work that into the conversation. Yeah. But, the, but the point is, a conversation starter. So you're right. You got Let to me get, go back you to you the, get the, get the way. By the way, I think I'd choose invisibility, but you don't want don't <laughs> want to know why. Why? why? You got to use it for oh, good. No. I do want to know why. Oh, then I have to do something else. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to the boring ones. <laughs> Invisibility. Oh. She's going to think you're a creep. <laughs> I hope so. Oh. I'm a, I'd choose invisibility and then I'd go down to the beach. <laughs> She's already on the other side of the room, mate. Oh, no. Uh, okay, I'm going to do some proper oh, come ones. Come on, what else have they okay, got there? I'm going to do some yep. proper ones as well that yep. actually will help you. Smile. That's a good one. My mum gave me that one. Okay, that's I was good. A, yeah. It's hard to smile when you don't feel like smiling. <laughs> smile. Just put practice on your fake smile. So smile. 
Make eye contact. Do you say something when you smile or do you just walk up to someone and go? <laughs> we try and say hello, but cause sometimes it comes out wrong, doesn't it? Like, hi, hello. <laughs> like you say hello and hi at the same time. Yeah. Um, oh, offer a handshake. That's never happened to me, actually. And go and find an approachable person. I mean, how do you know who's approachable? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway. Well, you'll soon find out. Yeah. You know what I've got to work on? Oh, I've got to work on, like, like, uh, <laughs> like, I will introduce myself to someone. I'm so unaware. I will go, mm. hey, mate, how you going? I'm, I'm Ash. Right. And they will say, oh, my name is blah, blah, blah. And as I'm shaking their hand. You've already forgotten. Is that what you say? <laughs> I yeah. mean, that is yeah, just, that's, it's pathetic. And I think that's a big one. It's I, pathetic. I heard a good tip for that the other day. Yeah, go ahead. Apparently you've got to find, make a story around someone's name. So Connect it to something. Oh, maybe yeah, you tell that's, me this, Buzz. Yeah, one. and then you're also supposed yeah. to say it back. So if know, you say, if you say hi, Ash, 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 I'm. No. Yeah, I know. But so you, you say to yeah. me, you say hi, I'm Ash, and I'll just tell you the story G'day, after. I'm Ash. Here you go. Ash, okay, Ash is like fire. Fire turns into Ash. He's on fire. I was going to say he's hot, but then I'm like, if, yeah, that's weird. That goes yeah. weird. But yeah, that's that. Yeah, but then you know. you've got to remember to because mm. that does work. Like yeah. that, that tip, tip does work. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. But it, you know. It's a power play. I, I've often well, said this. If there's any young athletes out there or, or young people do, yes. do interviews or whatever, if you're getting interviewed, you say always find out stuff. So Susie's interviewing me, mm. yeah, Susan, and then as you talk back to Susan, yes. say, Susan, that's a very good. Yeah, you know, that's very you, good question. So Susan. you engage. Yes. The yes. person almost in a friendship yes. way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good thing for young um, athletes to, to remember. Mm. Use people's I've, names. I found another good creepy question. Mm. I mean, not creepy. Another good fun. You question. should test these out in the kitchen this morning with our sales team. And I report should do back. that. I'll do one here to someone. I'll do it, to Ashley. Rachel, she's, she's weird. You'll get a weird response from her. Hey, Ash. If you had twenty-five hours in a day. What would you do with the extra hour? Sleep. <laughs> now he put on his invisibility glasses and go to the beach. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Susan's out doing a television interview as we speak on the Today Show. Mm. Um, so she can't participate in this. I'll ask you though, Ashley and Buzz, um, when you think track and field, throw a name at me, like razzle dazzle, track and field. Who's right saying? Now. Yeah, I'm thinking of Shervo. You're thinking of, so you're thinking of Matt Shervington, the Today host to... Mm-hmm. Ran a quarter of a century ago. Usain Bolt and is, Usain Bolt is right? the number one for me. So he's retired. Like he's yeah. he's, he's done. He's done. I couldn't he's, tell you a one hundred meter yeah. runner. So this is my point, right? Because uh, the new superstar, the guy yeah. with the the hair. I don't know his name though. This is this is the answers yeah, I was hoping great. for because this is, this is playing in my great hand. description, boss. Because because Netflix. Well, you know he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do actually. Uh, but so Netflix are uh, about to release um, another one of these sporting documentaries from the makers of. Um, Drive to Survive, the Formula, oh, the Formula One series, which was a um, a huge hit for not only for Netflix but also for the sport. Absolutely, it, it, and I know I've said. Let's see, it got me years. into motor racing. I, like I, like motor racing passed me by for whatever reason. It yep. just didn't interest me, and at that. Special alone yeah. got me into motor racing. That, the intricacies of it, the personalities, the people, the competitiveness, yeah. the business side of it. Yeah, it, it was a hit. Like yeah. it just worked, and it got, as you said, a lot of people that wouldn't usually give a rats about motor racing into motor racing. So it transcended the, yep. the power of a sport. Yep, and made Formula One this really huge juggernaut, even bigger and more relevant. And yada yada. yada. Opened it up to a brand new audience, like people like me that just you know otherwise just would yeah. just let it go. And there's been others. The has been a tennis. Full one, swing. I enjoyed one. the full swing. That t- tennis wasn't much good. So that, tennis didn't get me in. Yeah. yeah, the characters in it didn't resonate with a lot of people. In fact, if anything, people sort of looked at a couple of those other sporting documentaries and went, "I kind of dislike these people and the way they carry on." Yeah. The, the test is the tennis good. players. The, the test one is, is another really one. The good. cricket one. I I've, haven't seen I've that. I've seen yet. that. That's very mm. good. Did that? Did that? Uh, well, it's it's not as long as what a, a season of the Formula One is, but it's did still, it give you buy-in back into the Australian did. team, it, it, which it, made you interested in it? Yeah, well, it gave you a peek behind the curtains, you know, so it was, yeah, yeah I, d- I did enjoy it. So, but, but I think that Drive to Survive stands alone oh, as, yeah. as the best. So the, my question is, as an athletics fan, will this help athletics? Because as you said, you, th- you ask probably 99% of people that are listening right now, Usain Bolt's probably the name that you think of in track and field. He's long gone. The guy you're thinking of is Noah Lyles, who's the 100 metre uh, champion, and this this very flamboyant well, Shikari Richardson, American woman, who uh, is a... Is a, almost like a Florence Griffith join a Flojo nineteen eighties kind of rebeat. Is she the, the one that got done on the Hooter? The, no, she got done on the Hooter. There's yeah. a really interesting story, like backstory to yeah. her. Here's the uh, here's a here's a bit of the promo. When people think about speed, think about the hundred. On your marks. As soon as the gun goes off. Set. 
It's showtime. Ever since Usain Bolt retired, who is going to be that next 100 meter champion? Look good, feel good, do good. Who says you can't be sexy on track? I'm an Olympic champion, a mommy. There is no crown heavier than the Olympic 100 meter gold medal. Jeez, they, mate, they do yeah, great, yeah, good. don't they? It's just good editing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it's going to be a good thing for athletics, particularly yeah. Olympic year, and it follows the journey of these top athletes from the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, which I was at last year, right up until the Paris Olympics. Yeah. And I think it's going to be. I think you're going to you're going to meet some characters that you don't know yet that are that are going to be particularly heading into watching the Olympic Games, give you a buy-in yes. to watching top-level sport in a big stadium in Paris, which is going to be great. So I'm going to give this a huge recommendation station, even though I haven't even seen the damn thing no. yet. No, no, no. I'm going to give it a go too because yeah. mm. if, if it is as good as what that yeah. little promo suggests that it's going to be, it's exactly what you said. It's going to give you buy-in yeah. so that all of a sudden yeah. I'll care about yeah. the – prob- there's probably an event out there that I otherwise – like it could be yeah. the triple jump or yeah. Something and all yes. of a sudden I'm going. Oh, I know this bloke exactly. Yeah. I, want, I want to see him do well. So it's called Sprint. I think it's released on Netflix on July two. Is it is it all track and field or is it just sort it's of the one hundred? It's track and field. I think it's basically around the sprint kings though and queens. Yep, 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 yep. yep. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Olympic trials start today. The swimming trials. It's the first time I've been interested in a very long time, to be honest, to actually watch them. How yeah. come? I don't know. I think because I, I know who the athletes are now, I've, a bit like what Lutzi said, once you get to know the names and the personalities, and the, it's kind of a core group that have been around now yeah. for a long time. Like Lots Emma, of sort of household names Yeah, now. Emma McKeon, Kaylee McEwen, um, Ariane Titmus, Zach Stubbity cook Molly Ring... Molly, Molly O'Callaghan. Molly Ringwall. <laughs> <laughs> And there's some really, and there's some really big battles too, and then even the story of um, yeah, Emily's on the front page yeah, as well. Emily Seabomb, like she's had a baby. Mm. How long ago? That wasn't that long ago. Well, the baby looks about when? not even one. I don't even know when. when Lutz, did you know when she had that baby? <laughs> well, it was less than no. three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't know. But I think about a year ago. But it's incredible that that story is amazing. And going for a fifth. I don't care what you say. If you've had a baby, you know they say you can't. <sighs> There's all stuff around it. Hey, if you had a baby and you are back doing elite sport, that is something special. Well, I've it, had a baby. It says on the screen here she had the baby September last year. Yeah, it's pretty recent. So that kid's not even a year yet. There's no way yeah, I could be elite level after I had Alex seven months ago, whatever, mm. 20 months ago. So I think it's because of that. But there's and, stories. You're right. So you're, you, the, yeah. as you said, like I, you, you got to find that you, you find that attachment. What? To be part of the journey of the athletes, like this, yeah. it's actually a really great experience. For what everyone. about the Campbell sisters? Like, isn't one yes. of them going for five Olympics? Uh, Kate Campbell is, yeah. And where's Emma? How many Olympics has she been to? Uh, uh, has anybody been to five Olympics before? No. But so there could be a couple that make uh, it. Kate and Emily, yeah. The, You're right. Kate, oh, it's going to be tough for Kate Campbell. She had took a whole year out a little while ago, and her events have really, they're fast now. I think her best chance... Honestly, is a relay spot. So at least she's got that. They'll take the top six in the hundred free. In the hundred free, yeah, for the relay. Um, the f- fifty free is really fast. Kate's best result in an individual event at the Olympics is a bronze in the fifty free. So fifty free is, I suppose, her best event. But what else is there? Um, Emma McKeon to see. You know, not, she's sort of been kind of out of form. Has I mean, she? Uh, well, you know, she hasn't been as, as good as she... Is it she? I wonder if she's listening to this. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Hi, Emma. I think she'll do well, but she hasn't really shown her top speed since probably Tokyo. Is what really? Say. Okay. Um, and then, oh, so many good stories. 200 free, Molly O'Callaghan and Arnie Ariane Titmus. They train together every single day, twice a day, and they're probably the, up against each other in the 200 free. Um, just so many good stories. What about on the men's? I haven't followed the men's that much, but Kyle Chalmers allegedly is going pretty well. He's moved up to the Sunshine Coast um, and is training up here with an ex-swimmer, Ashley Delaney. Um, apparently is in good form. Oh, you know who else is in really good form, which I don't want to... Uh, Zach Stubblety cook Yes, he's going pretty well. Sam Short, it says in the paper here today that he, he are set on the path of three potential individual gold medals in the 4, the 8 and the 1500 metre freestyle. He yeah. must be a gun. 
Yeah, he's um, he he's from Brisbane. He, be, he says he wants to beat Thorpey's record. Yeah. He must be a gun. He, he trains up here at Centenary Pool, ah. close to us. Yeah, wow. Well. And the other one who's um, a bit of a sleeper that we've all heard of is Hayley Lewis's son. Kai Taylor. Oh, yes. Come on, Kai. Yeah, he's um got a good Tracking chance in well. the 100 free and the 200 free. I think he's the f- done the fastest time this year in the 200 free. Really? For Australians, for Australians. And he's at... Right, would would um, he be the first uh, child of a famous swimmer? Well, Emma McKeon's dad was in the Olympics. Oh, okay. Um, don't tell me which ones. And his, her mum was in the Commonwealth Games, but not, not f- famous. Um, let's have a think. Um, Lani Pallister is a going for the yes. distance event. Her mum, Janelle Elford, was in Big the Olympics. Red. Big Red. I remember her. <laughs> Big Red. Oh, there must have been a few. Oh, God. I reckon there would be. There certainly would be. Let's have a think. I can't even test my brain right now. When Come you on, think about it, how many footy players have, like, famous kids, yeah, you'd think it'd be the it same. It makes for, sense, doesn't it? Mm. You know, yeah. You get your kids into the sport that you're kind of interested in, don't you? Or mm. not? <laughs> All sad. And that's the... <laughs> <laughs> The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Sue. Brighton Homes are now offering up to $35,000 cash back on their homes. You don't need to be smarter than Sue's to live brighter and save more with Brighton. Thank you to Brighton for supporting Smarter Than Sue's as always. All right, Amanda out of Rothwell on a debut performance. Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? I'm great, thank you. I'm so excited to finally get through. Oh, has it been a while? You're not one of these people, it's your your first time even trying. Have you been trying for a little while? No, I've been trying for a long time, years Mm. in fact. Yeah, there's no great science. I have people over the weekend saying, what's the what's the deal? I'm like, I don't know. Some people get through and end up playing three times in their career, and some people spend their entire life and never get through. I don't know what's... Just what's trying yeah, every day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Did you do anything different today? No, I just heard Buzz say the lines are open or, you know, phone, and I just hit things oh. off straight away. <laughs> and it rang straight away? Yes, it First did. go. That's the tip, isn't it? Because a yep. lot of people try calling before I say that. We don't open the lines until I say call now. So. We've got, we got those when... phone lines like blocked off. Oh, yeah, yeah. we do. Right-o. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> no <laughs> shenanigans here, Amanda. <laughs> okay, well, good luck to you. I hope it's worth the wait. $300 into the draw for the BYD 803 as well. Okay, thank you. So let's rip in. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. How many days are there in June? 30. Rory McIlroy is known for playing what sport? AFL. Who is Mila Kunis married to? No idea. Kampala is the capital of which African country? No idea. What is 12 times 12? Pass. No, I don't know. What? Stop the clock. Well, I was nice stop the clock. I just went the distance, I think. You weren't going to get around. Did she say pass or no idea? No, she, she said, said no idea. idea. Okay. Yeah. No two idea. seconds. Two seconds. I'm going to give you Amanda. Right She's, she said no, no idea a lot. It's so much harder. We yeah, know. yeah, we yeah. know. Mm. We know. It was a, a tough questions, but I think the, uh, the the last mathematical one's going to burn you because she'll get that in a heartbeat. 12-12, uh, yeah, she definitely sure. will know that. She'll definitely know Rory McElroy. Anyway, let's, she, she, let's I reckon she'll stumble over Yeah. Uh, um, Oh, mate. Oh. Mila Kunis' husband. Mila Kunis. Yeah, she might jag that. <laughs> she could get that. Kampala. I've never heard of that, no. so I don't think anyone no, really get that. No, neither have I. No. Let's bring in the game. Blue eyes, butterfly, Susie always wins on time. Bring in the game. A gimp, a gimp, a gimp, a gimp, a Music for a Susie restaurant. Music for a Susie restaurant. Music for whatever Sus wants. Okay, big, 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 big. That's Georgie. Mm. I saw Georgie in Sydney. Down in Sydney last yeah. week. She dropped us like a dirty rag, didn't she? Moved yeah, on greener pastures. Mo- Smallsy moved big on to Smallsy. Smallsy. But she came straight up to me and she goes, "Oh, those shoes you're wearing, which incidentally, <laughs> what are they? Are these ones? Just these Adidas ones that I got on One here. Of two pairs of shoes. <laughs> yep. Ash yeah, ones. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she goes, "Oh, they're the exact same ones that Harry wears. Oh, really, Harry Styles? Yeah, you know she's the biggest yeah, mark yeah. for Harry Styles. Yeah, she loves Harry. Funny. That made me feel very cool." Did you 
see her eyes as well? Blue. So blue, they were contact lenses. Yeah, well, because uh, she said, did, I, I did notice that. Georgie. I didn't comment, but they, 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 oh. like Can she coloured contact lenses. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, definitely. What's yeah. her natural light colour? It must be blue as well, know. but they were like bluer, blue, 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 like the ocean like, blue, like bu- like yes. crazy blue, right. yeah, like, like not real yeah, blue. You put color. We should all try that. We good. should do that. I did yeah. that once for a photo shoot. I had to put a, a fla- Australian flag contact lens, I think, but you couldn't see out of it. Oh, that's freaky. It mustn't have had the hole in it. You couldn't see out of it. Not from memory. Oh, you know, it was just for a photo. Yeah. Well, they just superimpose it later. So, so she, many questions. Yeah, because they, they're because it was in 1981. <laughs> why does he do that? I don't even know why he does that. She knows I'm joking. Oh, does she? Yeah. <laughs> she's getting angry because she's taking a jacket yeah. off, so yeah. she's obviously fuming. Yeah. She's freeing up the shoulders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're ready. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. How many days are there in June? Uh, 30. Rory McElroy. Is Golf. Who is Mila Kunis married to? Uh, uh, Demi Moore's ex. Oh. Kampala is the capital of which African country? Uh, Zimbabwe. What is 12 times 12? 144. Stop the clock. Oh. It went identical to how I knew it. Would yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it's getting crazy how I know exactly what you're asking. in my brain. Isn't it bizarre? I, th- I thought you'd stumble over Mil- the Miller Kunis one and you did exactly what I thought you'd do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you knew so I did it. the same thing. I did the same thing. Yeah. It was there, but I yeah. can't find it. can't find it. How many days are there in June? Did, did, uh, by the way, did both of you. Amanda and Sue, did you both have to do the thing in days, your head? September. No, I just went to the financial year. Oh, yeah, uh, I went to the financial year too. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> well, excuse me. You, yeah. you, you're yeah. Into, uh, into bookkeeping as well, are you? a girl that knows oh, yeah. her admin. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows it's 30 June. Okay, I didn't. I would have been 30 days after September. 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 Oh, yeah, it's June. 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 Uh, one all. Rory McElroy is no golf. What's the question? Very early. Yes. Rory married to who? He's married, yes. <laughs> no, because he's divorced. Is what nationality? No. He's uh, Irish. No, he's known for playing what sport? You're Golf right. is uh, correct. Amanda, you missed he, that. It's 2 1 Sue. Yeah. Who, he was engaged to a right. tennis player. He left her at the aisle, pretty at, much. Yep. They'd already sent the invitations out and yeah. everything. Yeah. And then didn't she dodge a bullet because didn't he just have an affair with someone? Oh, what? I didn't know that. I know he's divorced. Does he have an affair? Did he? Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, oh, alleged. Sure. Alleged. Yes. Yeah, she uh, dodged a bullet. Yes. Wandering uh, eyes always. Hey. What? What's that? Wandering eyes always. He had wandering, wandering yeah. eyes always. Um, M- Mila Kunis is married to Ashton Kutcher. Yes, yes. that's what I meant. Did Amanda get it? No. 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 She knew it, but she didn't get it. Two one Sue's. Kampala is the capital of which African country? <sighs> Uganda. Uh, did Amanda get that? Do you no. know that one, Nick? No. He did. Apparently, cool. did Nick know that? He said that straight away. Did yeah, he really? Oh my god, he's outstanding, that yeah, man. And then 12 times 12 is 144. It's a 3 1 victory to Susan O'Neill. No pantsing for you, Amanda. That's important. Thank god. <laughs> it's too cold for that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Kickback cave in full effect. Good done, Sue. Have a great day. Load her up. Let's yeah, I'm going to load you up here. I'm going to give you a $150 Epic Hair Designs oh. voucher just to start with their... Um, uh, Amanda. Amanda. And uh, I'm also going to... Uh, what else can I give you here? I'll tell you what, I'll give you... I've got a couple of those Hogs Breath vouchers still in. The Hogs Breath Cafe vouchers. A $100 voucher for Hogs Breath as well. Wonderful. Thank and, you. And uh, are we feeling like we should keep going here, Buzz? What do you reckon? I think Amanda yeah, sounds not? amazing. Hook her up. Yeah, amazing. Is that a hint to what you reckon? Or no? uh, she sounds like she's a cool chicka. Okay, that's a good one. Hey, chicka. A $100 hey, chicka voucher. Brunswick, have you been there? No, I haven't. Oh, you'll love it. Tacos, margaritas, mm. uh, the whole thing. Lovely. On Brunswick Trip Mall, great spot. You're going to love that. So $100, you so $100 much. voucher for there as well. Well done, Amanda. Thank you. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I've reached the age where I've completely forgotten that I have children. <laughs> Uh, I was go ahead. I was um, watching TV with Cliff last night. We ended up watching actually. That's, what do you watch together? We watched. Well, we're watching a really we're watching a really horrible but good uh, thing on Netflix called The Tattooist of Our Switch. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. which is actually a love story. Is that good. It's actually really good. But we weren't watching that last night. We're watching. Where's that on it? It's at um, Stan. Stan, yeah. Mm. We went oh, we to watch Stan. that. 
We went to sit in and watch that because we'd had dinner and obviously we had no conversation. Love because Stan. Stan's great. We just Love have Stan. dinner now. And Didn't just... you ask Cliff what uh, superpower he'd choose if he... <laughs> what a great idea, Ash. Thank you very much. I'm going to use those questions on him. What historical figure would, uh, would Cliff uh, like a, to bring back? Yeah. That's a really good idea. The superpower of having a, another television room where you sit by himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh god! Now, so we went to watch that, but the swimming was on, so we started watching that 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 Australia USA. It was oh, actually really was that good. On, last night? on Channel Nine oh. rivalry. It was actually really good. Yep. But we're sitting there, and then all of a sudden, my phone rang, and it was Alex, my daughter. It's like, oh, that's right. <laughs> I've got a daughter, Alex. What's she doing? What she want? More to the point. Did you what you? did she want? Mm. You are correct. No, the point was I think she was just having a chat procrastinating because they've, uh, the kids have got exam week this week. They've had exams all the last week and Cliff and I keep saying to each other, let's not forget when the kids have got exams. We get our diary out, we write down when their important exams are and, so really, luck. and really try and remember to call them before their important exams and after to see how they went. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Completely forget. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still a nice thought. It's but a nice you, thought. You just didn't but do it. They've moved out of home, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. And it's so bizarre because I still remember, like it was yesterday, that I brought Alex home and I was completely petrified and didn't know what to do with her. And I remember ringing at my mum and said, what do you do here? You know, oh, From the hospital, you mean? Yeah, from the hospital. Oh. When I first had her as a baby, I remember ringing my mum going, don't you remember, you know, oh, and it could be anything. Like, when does she start solids? What does it mean when this happens? When, her, you know... When, How are you supposed to know that? Are you supposed to go to classes and stuff? Well, like, I don't know, but the point is my mum couldn't remember any of it. She's like, I can't remember. And I remember thinking it was such a big deal. I'm like, how could you ever forget? Hmm. How could you ever forget what this was like, mum? And what when she starts eating solids, when she starts walking, how do you burp her? You know, is she crying because she's got a sore nappy or hungry? Hmm. Mum, and now I totally get it because you bring up children and then you completely forget what you've done. I, I completely forget what I've done, and all of a sudden they're growing up, yeah, and there was such. That. And then um, all of a sudden, don't forget them. I still love them, but <laughs> it's it's such a funny feeling. Isn't it a nice feeling? Oh, you've still got a couple yeah. in your joint, haven't you? How many have you got now? I've got two at home. Do you reckon there's any yeah. sign that they're ever going to leave, or just? Well, one's yeah, twelve, got... so I think I've got him for a little bit longer. It's probably two. I don't more think years, it's legal but... for. <laughs> Him to be showing the door. Oh. Hell, you're a 12 year old. That's right. You break Actually, back in the yeah. short yeah. Actually, got, yeah. I'm trying And to then imagine. Levi, I mean, he stays at our place. He's, He's there he, a lot. either stays at our place or at Liv's place. And honestly, it depends on who's got the nicer dinner. Well, that's what I'm, <laughs> so, I'm saying. <laughs> like, it, it honestly does. What like, sometimes I don't see him for a week. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, is your preference what he's got, which is like literally every man and his dog's still there, literally? Well, sometimes and then that, you've got yes. Nobody. A bit of both, actually. I, yeah. I don't know if I'd particularly want a 12 year old, but sometimes I do think. <laughs> If I had another, if I had a twelve-year-old, I'd still have the family unit. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah. I'd oh, still yeah. have the family routine. It's more rounded. I'd still know yeah. what I was doing every Saturday. I'd go to sport, which I complained at the time and now really miss. Mm. I hate that about like that's just, that, yeah. that's what you're talking about missing. I'm in the thick of it with a two and a half year old mm. and a one year old. Yeah. And like having seeing like a petting zoo locked into our diary for a Saturday yeah. morning absolutely ruins my life. Yeah. yeah but no, then again, that. like on my side of the table, like on Saturday I was down at Chugan watching the, the footy, watching Archie's footy. Uh, I can honestly say there's nowhere else in the world I would rather be. Mm. I, yeah, I love that's it. Cool. I, that's cool. Really I absolutely good. love it. And then, yeah, I, tre- I treasure it. That's good. And I can see that because I can see that it's coming to an end. Yeah. Like, and more so than the others. Or you always love football. I've right? always but more loved so it. The other, I've loved it. So I know I'm going to miss it. Yeah. But know? other things to do with kids because you know it's coming to well, an end. I actually, I was just talking to Nick about it outside bef- before because, um, uh, like, I had the weekend over at Stratty with Levi, and it was just me, Levi, and Sid. We had a ball. We, we mm. went fishing, you know, we were just stuffing around and I was like, oh, geez, I'm going to miss this stuff. Yeah. Like if this if this did end, yeah. you know. And then last week got to take Sid to the origin. Like oh, that was, yeah, that was like pretty cool. Yeah, you met Reese Walsh, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite yeah. Quite. So, yeah, I get it. I, I get that it would leave a massive void. It will for me actually because yeah. like I, I can see that when that does come to an end. When you're both just sitting at the table looking... At each other. Uh, uh, going. I, I can't wait to find out what Joe's superpower would be. <laughs> I should get those questions up again. <laughs> yeah. I might need them. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. World Class Racing and Brisbane's finest hospitality. The Star Stradbroke Day, June 15, Eagle Farm Racecourse. Book at brc.com.au. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Fashion or Philly. This is a really, really cool prize, isn't it? 
Well, it's on this Saturday, the Star Stradbroke at yeah. Eagle Farm, mm. and this is the ultimate race day experience. Yeah, Good this group, is, too. This is the big one for, for Brizzy. There's six yeah. tickets, so you and five friends. Yeah, this is massive. And the tote room. Have a look how fancy that looks. Yeah, it's oh, great. Oh, wow. Where is that? It's like it. Well, it's a, it was the old, the tote room means where you used to line up to those little box windows and yeah. put your bets on back in the day. It was a big, long room that have now, it looks incredible. It's been renovated. Inside. It's and all it's, brick and yeah. um, beautiful lights and beautiful uh, decor. It's, it's a great venue. It's a great spot to be in the races. Five-hour beverage package. Yeah. Mm. Can you imagine? Oh, God. Canapé menu <laughs> as well. And $1,500 Westfield voucher so you can get ready. So we'll draw this on Friday. Up. Yep. But yes. get a frock right now. Got to get yeah, people in the draw. It's yep. a chance for Jeremy to a enter, fascinator. Enter our oh, map, a fascinator. Enter fascinator. Our, our three enclosure. different conversations happening yeah. right now, Jeremy. Yes. I'm glad no one heard mine. Morning. <laughs> yep. What's going on, mate? <laughs> oh, I just on the way into the office, dropped my kids to school on the way. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> uh, well, listen. What we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to um, we're going to give you a name. It's either the name of a fashion label. Or it's the name of a racehorse. And right. if you get it right, you're in the draw. Ready. Get it wrong, we'll move yeah. on. Huh. And you'll you mean to rhyme? Yep. You get it wrong, we'll move on. Yeah. So I guess people want people to get it wrong if you're nasty because there'll be less people in the draw when you win. Correct. Mm-hmm. I know. Jeremy, okay. Are you going to say it, Ash? What's this, uh, you can this do it. name? We'll call it either a fashion house or a racehorse. The name is Sunday Silence, Jeremy. Sunday Silence. Is that a fashion house or a racehorse? Uh, I would say it is a racehorse. A racehorse, you say? Well, yes. I can inform you that Sunday Silence won the Kentucky Derby in 1989. It is a racehorse. <laughs> nice. Well done. You're in the draw, mate. So you'll be one of only a, a, a little less than a handful. Or maximum four people in the yeah. draw if everyone gets it right. Exactly. Awesome. Good, mate. Good. Cheers for that. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Jeremy. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Thanks, team. There we go. So to reiterate, this uh, six tickets, tote room for Star Stradbroke Day. It's a five-hour beverage package, extensive canopy menu, uh, and plus fifteen hundred dollars to spend at Westfield to get yourself race day ready. That's a decent prize. Massive prize. We'll play again tomorrow. World Class Racing in Brisbane's finest hospitality, the Star Stradbroke Day, June 15. That's this Saturday, Eagle Farm Race Course. If you want to head along, uh, book at brc.com.au. Mitch is out on the street after 7.30. He's gone down to Howard Smith Wharves, yeah. which will look absolutely stunning on this fine 23-degree sunny Brisbane winter's morning. Oh, my God. I was there last night for the other side of it when the sun was going down. There was oh, a yeah. beautiful pink sky above oh, the city. The it looked was beautiful. spectacular, mm. Susan. Oh, I could imagine it would be awesome. I took a photo. Send it to you. Thank you. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Prince is on. Weekend was it, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the run is oh over. God. The run is over. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> Hello, Mitchell. I th- Hello, guys. I thought it might have been the clashing city cats that I'm looking at just sort of out of sync with each other. But that's okay. We're bouncing back from a big weekend. Uh, guys, I'm just down here at uh, Riverside, one of my favourite spots. I know we've got uh, this whole Novus Tripper day going on, and we're, uh, we're going to be giving this away in, in how long, Buzz? It's coming after up before 8:30. the end of the show. So it's yeah. not, after 8.30, not too far away, a uh, beautiful staycation at uh, Howard Smith Wolves, which I don't know. I, I tend to look at It's a bit of a unicorn, guys, because I feel like, you know, if you're a local, some places you love, tourists aren't really keen to go to, or vice versa. you got some where the tourists out of towners want to go to that us locals are sick of. And I think Howard Smith Wolves is something that everybody loves coming down to. And it's look, it's a bit of a shame to be here on a Monday morning because I think yesterday, you know, barely over 12 hours ago, Sunday sessions down here are amazing. The weather yeah. here yesterday would have been there. incredible. But were you here? Where, where's your hit up on a Sunday here, Lutz? Uh, Percival's, the, uh, the, yes. the city side of Balcony where you get this magnificent sort of pink sort of you, yeah. if you like, over <laughs> over the over the over the Olympic City, and the, they opened you know, the roof. The roof was open. Yep. It was, and it wasn't oh, even that yes. cold. We had a heater on. It was like almost too much. Mm. Second week of winter, boom! Like it's magnificent down there. 
Well, no, with what we're giving away, you can sort of make up your own weekend down here. You've got your beautiful Crystal Brook Vincent Hotel, which is down there, obviously, uh, f uh, Felons as well. Mr. Percival's Lutz, he's hit up by Yoko Greco, which I know that I mean, we've had a couple of team lunches down here. And, oh, I mean, you, you talk about the, the hue uh, down here. What I love about down here is what it looks like in the morning to what it looks like in the afternoon. Yes. You may as well come back and do a double hit at the same place, yep. and you may as well be in some other part of the town. It looks different depending <laughs> on what time you're down here. It's absolutely wonderful, guys. It really does. You can't say it any better, mate. The Stanley. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The food. Mm -hmm. Stanley. Oh, that uh, oh. Asian sort of food? Yeah. Oh, yum. Louis the chef there. Oh. One of the best in the world. Also, you can, so take, you can take your kids there because they've got play areas for your kids. Yes. Yeah, they do. It's perfect for the yeah. kids. Really I'm sort of in front of that uh, like pirate ship looking thing next, yeah. to, next to Felons. And actually, just a bit further down to the left, they've got the, uh, what are the, the beanbag sort of like chair yeah. situation where they're sitting almost like right on the bank of the river. So if you get a couple there, you can order from yes, your seats. from your beanbag. And you're just, you're just sort of overlooking the river. It's like you're having a spot at the beach, but you're not sitting there with your, you're not getting yeah. sand everywhere. It's you're sitting there. There's also a, a giant yeah. TV there, Mitch. Where, so I know the Bronx yeah. are taking on the Rabbitohs on Friday night. So if you choose to uh, do this trip on the Friday, you can actually go out to Felons, sit True. on those bean bags, get food delivered to you. They do great pizzas <laughs> there. Watch the mm. footy on the big screen. Oh. It's perfect. A couple of great pop-ups down here as well as uh, La Mexicana, Gigi's as well. Um, I'm down here with uh, with Supernova Angus, and I mean this. Oh, is, I mean, uh, if if he wasn't Aussie rostered Goose. on to be here this morning, I think Aussie Goose would have just been wrapping up a big Sunday. Have we missed <laughs> anything this morning, Angus? As far as you're down here, you're uh, you're a regular contributor. Mm, I would. Um I think right where we are right now, right next to the pirate ship, yep. is definitely where you want to kickstart your mm. night. Yeah. And then you want to graduate to Percival's, make okay. your way down the little catwalk here, mm -hmm. straight your stuff, and then get in, continue your work. He okay. Goose knows. Goose, Goose knows. knows. He, he does know. Goose there. knows. Yeah. We He's trust in it. Goose. Walk that walk. Yeah. So they, had I think big, this is... they had a big supernova party there a while back. I remember hearing about just? it. Yeah. Well, I think very that, that they left us for dead at our Nova Christmas party last year where they had the after party and they brought it on down here, right? Gussie was sort of leading that charge. Yeah, so. precisely. At this table, just to the right of us. Right, okay. <laughs> I can see the, the damage has still been things. done. Oh. It has seen some things. Look at the stains on there. We're not going to ask questions, though. You come, come down here and make up your own fun if you take out Nova's trip a day today with our little uh, weekend away staycation down here at the beautiful Howard Smith Wharves. Make it your own, guys. Plenty of recommendations over there the last couple of minutes and uh, write your own story. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Just a quick congratulations to everyone involved in the uh, Tenerife Festival on Saturday. What a Saturday. fantastic night. Just amazing. Mm. Uh, there was a whole new look this year. Florence Street was a great stage along there. The crowd were loving it. They had amazing record pre-sales, big mm -hmm. walk-ups on the night. Yep. People were really getting involved in a great local festival. Yep. Uh, and the, the music was brilliant. The fundamentals, Cat Empire, it was just a great night, wasn't it? It was perfect. A it was great vibe. It, it felt it felt like we're in Europe somewhere, don't you yeah. reckon? Like it oh, had yeah, a European right. vibe with the it's the got old a good buildings. Vibe about it, really, really great. Mm. Yeah, the festival yeah. itself was fantastic. Nice work, everyone. Brilliant. Look, look. I mean, when we started here, the, our, our studios in Tenerife. When we started here, yeah. way back when, th th this was a bit of a ghost town. This yeah. suburb, yeah, yeah, it was industrial. Still there wasn't a much bit, doing. It? Yeah, it was just sort of like old wool sheds and yeah, mm. factories and stuff. It's changed so much in twenty years. Crazy, hey? Mm. It's incredible. Nice work. Uh, so I'm good next. that Lutzi and I just uh, didn't take advantage of it at all. Yeah. And just <laughs> buy a warehouse or something. Yeah, no. So we just keep working here. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Beat the blues with a cheeky winter weekender. From cosy hinterland cabins to sun-soaked resorts. Book it all and more on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? Take me away! Nova's trip a day. Win your perfect holiday. Hey, this is awesome. We went from a 10K day in May to Nova's trip a day. We've got a trip every single day to give away, uh, all thanks to What If. Uh, the trip we're giving away right now is a little staycation for two at Howard Smith Wharves. Mitch went through all the amazing things you can do down there. I thought uh, he did a great, great job. He did, didn't Me he? Too. Of, of whetting the appetite for it. Painted yep. a great picture. Mm -hmm. mm. Absolutely. And now <clears throat> we will continue to do so. What are we doing? We're giving it away. Okay. Get Let's say hello to Kerry oh, out of Cleveland. You there, Kerry? Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you guys? Yeah, so I'm here. You've won this staycation. Well done. Oh, really? For two. Oh, you're kidding. You have a ring a ding ding. Yeah. Oh, my God. Woohoo. It's a great prize. Um, definitely. Have you spent much time down at Howard Smith Wharves? Oh, we've actually been away 
in Queensland really I hardly ever go out anymore, so it'll okay. be good to explore. Oh, how come you don't go out? Because all I do is work. Oh, what? All oh. I do is work. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Still no time to have off with the company I work with. Oh, there you go. Well, that's, this is going to be a great little... Uh, going to be, ASIO? Yeah, it's your secret agent. <laughs> Can I do a quick shout-out at all? Yes. Yeah, that's on, okay for House of Rap. They are amazing, and if you ever need anything done with your car, definitely hit them up. Oh, they wrap oh, cars. Yes. Ah. Oh, is yes, that where you work? Yes, they wrap cars. Did you no. wrap the Nova cars? No. What's yeah. going on here? They wrap cars. I don't. But yeah, we, they wrap cars and everything for you guys. So if you ever need anything, search up House of Wraps. Do you work for them, or are you trying to get a free wrap? No. What's going on, Kerry? Just helping them out okay. for a shout-out. Yeah. They truly really deserve it. <laughs> Okay. Well, it sounds like she doesn't like the place she works, but she... Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. No, no, thank you. We're not going that far, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so that's true. So she... Oh, that's yeah. what she's doing here. She's a job interview. Yes. For the other one. Yeah, she's moving I wish. on. Hey, well, we got, we got, we got some on a job before at Simply Beans. We, who's to say we can't get you a job at the uh, the rap joint that you just yeah, exactly. plug in right now, Kerry? Exactly right. I highly doubt it, but I'm a loyal customer of theirs. Oh, oh, right, you're a customer. Loyal oh, customer. Nice. Okay, I'm reading between yeah, the lines clearly here. clearly getting a discount. How many yeah. cars you? <laughs> <laughs> well, between me and my partner, we've got four cars. Well, four cars? That's, that's almost as many as you, Susan. <laughs> I you've got seven at the moment, haven't you? <laughs> It's only a six-car garage, remember? Susan oh, yeah. had me covered in the... How many garage spaces <laughs> you got? Okay. <laughs> I've only Susan's got a double got garage. <laughs> oh, you want to swap? <laughs> Not really, no. no. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for it. Well done, Kerry. Enjoy the uh, little staycation at uh, Howard Smith Wars. You and your four cars. Awesome, sweet. Thank you guys so much. Have a lovely day. Hey, there we go. moving on from confusing yeah. Kerry for a second. <laughs> She's going to plug in, actually. Jeez, I'll tell you what. You know, is, she, is, she, is her last name Luttrell? Yeah. Heaven, yeah, heaven forbid me get involved in the... I am to radio what Sally Malik was to cricket. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was just... I don't get it. I don't get it. it. That was yeah. just for us. And Ash only. Uh, scenic Rim. Yep. Scenic Rim is the next Ooh. one. Mm. I love the Scenic Rim. What are we talking? Uh, like, Tambourine Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm no, trying to well, spring... Do you need me again, guys? I'm just having a sandwich. <laughs> Springbrook? Oh, Would yeah, Springbrook be the scenic rim? It'd have to be. There about. Tambourine Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Sort of west of the And you know what? Range. Perfect for winter. Oh, it's a oh, close the winery. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. I did a winery tour up at oh, Tambourine yes. Mountain not too long ago. Last, in fact, last winter, perfect for it. Yeah. You yeah, have to have a fireplace going. Yep. Oh, those treetop cabins and stuff they have up that yeah. way as well. Mm. Oh, the Mouse's Houses. Yes, Mouse's House, yes. You know what I mean? Yep, Hartwood. Have a oh, Hartwood, yeah. beautiful. Actually, beautiful. That, bring, that brings beautiful. back triggering because my parents used to always go away for like marriage encounters to the mouse house, mouse's house. Yeah. I always think I've I never, been there with John. Oh, oh, just like, just love making sessions. Yeah, I'm like I never want. No. Yeah. No. That's what I'm not saying that. Yes. Okay, thank I, you. I, I bet you, Miss Miss no, and Mrs O'Neill were the exact same. Of course, that's they've what got they were doing. Bar bars up there, no, Suze, as if and there's dad nothing didn't. wrong no. of yeah, thinking that, about your parents making love like to each other. There is nothing wrong. I'm thinking it. about. I'm thinking about. Um, I'm thinking yeah, about someone Susan's else's parents, parents making love to each other right now. I mean, as well. You think Kerry was confusing? Uh, this is all thanks to What If. You're only a What If away from no. a fun-filled backyard break, book accommodation, flights, activities and more on the What oh, If John. app. A what If it's getaway. Yes, oh, a Yes, romantic John. getaway. Oh, John. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Hey, speaking uh, <laughs> sport, yeah. did you see – I know you did, Susie. You referenced same. it earlier. But uh, the Romanian walker. Like, have you ever have you ever seen anything more embarrassing? Oh, where where no. was it? What, what, what? I don't know where it was, Lutzi, but you, you, a European athletic oh, no, European champs are on in, right now. In, in Rome. Yeah, yeah, they're on. Weirdly, they're on right before the Olympics, mm. the Euros, yeah. Yeah. So I guess everyone's getting in their last minute uh, preparations before yeah. the Olympics. No, it's big. All the big stars are there. All the, all the Euro stars, obviously. She wasn't about to win. This, thought, it was oh. the 20K walk. Yeah. Which... Mm, it's, a, it's a long way to walk. Oh, it's quickly. What without. a spectacle. Too far, yeah. <laughs> too far to walk. I thought she was going for the win. It. Was she going for bronze? <laughs> Try commentating it. She was going for third place, <laughs> but she's coming down the straight and she must have been, she's as happy as Larry to get third place because she already had the national flag. So she's, When did she get she, that? She, yeah, she obviously so wandered over to the crowd yeah, someone, and, and yeah. picked up a, a yeah. flag. Bulgaria. Spanish flag. Spanish, was it? Where was she? Or from? whatever it was. Romanian. 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 Wrapped it around her neck. Wrapped it around her neck like a scarf. She's waving. Like she's the queen. To everyone. She's got her tongue out like she's a German shepherd. She's <laughs> literally lapping it up. <laughs> and she's put her arm up in the air 
and five meters from the line, there was this. There was this woman behind her. Who went, I'm going to get her. And you, <laughs> mate, have you seen it? No. Uh, you know, have a look. I like just as didn't make the highlights real for <laughs> day four. Oh uh, well, ju- just it. I should have because just it'll be a great lesson to everybody that you have not got what it one hell? until you cross the line. So she was going to finish third. Uh, like, the bronze. A- absolutely finished third. She had the foot off the pedal. She was celebrating. She had her hands in the air. She's waving as, to mum and dad and in the stands. And it's not as if going to run past her. They're walking. Yeah. So she like the other person. You know, it's and, just walking as well. And it all happened so quick that as soon as she sees the person on her outside, mm. she also can assess that oh, I'm not going to be able to catch mm. her because the finish line is literally just there. right there. And the look on her face. Oh, yeah, just drops. It's, oh. We'll put a video on our socials. Yeah. There's Nick's been a few of those. Now. I've seen it in cycling races. People like doing one lap yeah. too short and celebrating or yeah. that type you of thing. You see it a fair bit. You see it in the footy. Yeah, when someone celebrates and then they get tackled and they lose the ball over the line. Yeah, yeah, you've seen that a couple of times, mm. actually. And having said that, finishing fourth by one hundredth of a second is a great feeling. <laughs> that happened to us yeah. last year. Fukuoka. Yeah. Still trying to work out which one of you let me down that day. Well, well it wouldn't be, mate. I PB'd. Hmm? Maybe. I almost full <laughs> started. That's how much I cared. 13, anyway. 24, 10. Uh, they're, bad, they're bad memories, guys. Yeah. Let's yeah. move on. Uh, Smile and Sue's, 400 bucks. Oh, there's 400. a four number again. Sorry. Four. Ma- wow. Maybe. Uh, what? What have you got? Tom, <laughs> say something <laughs> Come inspirational. On. Maybe if people weren't training before it, we would have got third. Oh, oh you talking about we that still talking about that. She would have been training, Suze. Six weeks out from the Olympics. What's she talking about, Lutzi? <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than I'm smarter than Sue. Brighton Homes are now offering up to $35,000 cash back on their homes. You don't need to be smarter than Suze to live brighter and save more with Brighton. Uh, Rachel, are you there? Yes, I am. I've got a problem here. I've got. What have you done, buddy? Um, my pencil needs sharpening and we don't have a sharpener. And I don't know how I can keep track of... Your answers. Would you like a pen? We're both holding pens up. Uh, but thanks, Buzz. Like Buzz it. is going to give me a pen. He's giving you a pen. He's giving you a pen? Well, I'll give it back. No, you won't. I'll give it back. You'll never see Mate, you can keep can it. Can we get t- a sharpener yeah. for tomorrow, please, Alicia? Like, I mean, that's that's dull. Okay? Dull. I can't work with that. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about Lutzi here, Rachel. Why would you have to drag me in to take care of? Are you ready to rock and roll here? You, you, we've, we've spoken to you before, haven't we, Rachel from Thornlands, a couple Wait. of times? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah um, Susie beat me one nil, I think, a couple of years ago. Yeah. That was a tight one, um, and I think last year might have been four three or four two to Susie. So, oh, okay. Bit of redemption, yeah. She's okay. got me twice. Third time's a charm. Yes. Good luck. Hoping. Let's, Thank you. Let's have a crack at it. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be today? 10. Miley Cyrus rose to fame portraying what child star? Oh, Hannah Montana. In NFL, what city do the Rams come from? Uh, New York. What is the slowest mammal? Off. Spell conscious. C O N S C O E N C E. Stop the clock. I'm happy to include it, but I wasn't really listening to the. Uh, yeah, I think we. I, I mean, I'm happy yeah. to as well. We're going to yeah, accept. So. We'll, we'll accept it. Yeah, but nothing left. And then, and then time has expired. Yeah. Rach, I think you're in with a big chance. Oh, good. A big I chance. Fight. Let's bring in the. I'm bringing in the gift. This is Grenner, Tom Grenner. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, I'm bringing in the gift. I'm bringing in the gift. I'm bringing in the gift. Good gift. Thanks, Tom. Susie O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddie. Suze, you yes. good? I'm all good, thank you. Uh, Suze, look at that bloke on the TV there, up the top there. Yeah. How old do you reckon he is? 98. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the story. Stick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. Got him. Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> I, I thought, honestly, I thought until this morning, Dick Van Dyke, 
He could have told me he passed away 60 years ago. Mm, yeah. Totally. Like, He's still alive at 98 years of age. He won a daytime Emmy or something. He looks yeah, good. Yeah, the oldest person. He like does he, look good. He looks good. He looks a good 98. He doesn't wow. look like a day over, I can, 70. Like 70. No. 70. Yeah. Yep. Holy hooah. That, that's his, he's the best looking 98-year-old I've ever seen. Yeah. I haven't seen many. Well, yeah. Neither have I. But, you know, normally I'm they're not. Google, you know, they're Google they're just hanging in there going, hot Google hot 98-year-olds year olds and tell me if you can find anyone hotter than Dick. What? Let's... <laughs> Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm Googling, 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 Googling hot 98 year olds. They're, they're going to be making promos out of that for the rest hang of on. my life. Nick's already getting the footage, guys. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> hang on. You've got a 98 year old dick on, on her brain now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Poor dick. Okay. Stay focused here. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be today? Uh, 20. Miley Cyrus rose to fame portraying what child star? <laughs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> In NFL, what city do the Rams come from? Los Angeles. What is the slowest mammal? Snail. Spell conscious. C-O-N-C-E-I-O-S. Stop the clock. <laughs> I know I disappointed you, Lutzi. I oh know. Oh, God. He was so disappointed, I couldn't handle it. He turned away from me. Yeah, no, I just can't In believe disgust. that. disgust. Uh, Tuco. Please. Oh, no. Tape, tape, tape. Wow. The back of that? You've got to go down two ways. You've got to decide whether to try and answer it or just do a quick answer. Quick answer. I yeah. took the latter, Rachel. Was Dick a... Quick up. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, I, I don't know what Dick did. What, yeah. what did Dick do? In my, he was say an actor. Singing in the Rain? En- entertainer. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. He was an actor, was he? Yeah, yeah. He was singing and dancing in Mar- Mary yeah. Poppins. Yeah. Wasn't he? He was the chimney man. Yes. Yeah, right. Bert. That's that's where he's most famous. Bert. Really? Mm. Um, If you were born 10 years ago... Suze. I know. I don't know. Suze, if you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be today? Mm. Answer it now. I still... (laughs) Suze, I was born 10 years ago. How old am I? You were. Oh, what? (laughs) You 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 know that 10 year old that's daughter of your friend? Yeah. How many years ago was she born? 10 years ago. So, if you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? Oh, me. Oh, my God. Are you 40? Oh, my. No. Rach, do you see what we're dealing with here? Oh, my God. Wait, Ra- Rachel, we've accessed a part of her brain that just doesn't yeah. have any... Um... Suze, Suze, you're born 10... You, you were born I'm 10. 10. I'm 10. Yes, yes 10. Mm. Oh. You said 20. I said 40. And then it, it took us nearly 10 years to explain it. <laughs> Did Rachel get it? Yeah, yeah Rachel got it. Yeah. Got it. She yeah. went 10. Yeah. Well, it took her, took her a second. It did, actually. It made, you, it made you think one. that one, didn't it? Who put that one in? Is that a Lockie special? Mm. That's a Lockie special. That's a, uh, that's Alicia's got Lockie claim it. I'll tell you what, if, it, if we were if wow. we were saying how bad it was, no one would own up to yeah. it. That was tricky. Alicia's first to put her hand up there. I still had that last really? conversation on my brain. Who, Dick Van Dyke? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, if you were born 10 years ago, you'd be 10 today. Oh Rachel leads 1 0. I just did not get that. Miley Cyrus rose to fame portraying what child star? You both said Hannah Montana. Mm. That's correct. 2 1. In NFL. What city do the Rams come from? Oh, what was that? Oh. Who was that? What was that? It's Rachel. Was that you, Rachel? Oh, yeah, it was just a text message on the... Well, who is it? Share it with the rest yeah, of the class. Yeah, what's it say? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just a nuisance one. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, you have a page of Prize Homes or something oh. or Endeavour. Mm, careful with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Great organisation. Uh, the the like Ram, that. Los Angeles oh, is the Rams. And, Suze, you got that. You said New York, Rachel, so it's now tied together at two all. What is the slowest mammal? Ooh. Sue said Gian Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> That's I did maybe not. the funniest thing you've ever seen. That's Rachel, Rachel said the sloth, yeah. and the sloth is correct. Oh, okay. It's 3 2. If she ever hears about Rachel. this, I'm in so <laughs> much trouble. He just did a joke. We love Gian. Oh, oh, come on. I love Gian. Gian. I love Gian. I, I couldn't think of another swimmer. That, no, the joke wasn't Susan was bad explain. mouthing another swimmer. Yeah, but no. you weren't. Uh, yeah. No. no. Uh, and spell Not con- on air anyway. Spell <laughs> conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> This is the podcast. We go through all the swimmers she hates. Uh, spell <laughs> conscious. Not Gian, she's a good friend of mine. She is. You both got it wrong. Uh, C O N S C I O U S. Rachel? 
You're smarter than Suze. You've just won oh. $400. Oh. Excellent. Good job. What are you going to do with the Thank 400 bucks? Thank you so much. What, can, what are you going to do with it? Oh, it'll go easily. Oh, both my kids' birthdays are next month, so that'll go. come in handy. Done. Yeah. Sorted. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. There we go. For Trip A Day, you're listening up for Post Malone with Matty Rowe. When Post plays, 13, 24, 10 to get in the draw for that scenic room experience. And yeah, we didn't go in the cave just then uh, because of the, the wind, but uh, tomorrow <laughs> we might specifically in sport give some tickets to the uh, the Australian swimming trials yep. at the Aquatic Centre so p- people that really love their swimming can go see the our Olympic athletes in action. So we'll do that tomorrow. Until then, though, you're on your own. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.